Hi everyone. Miss Hayes here, getting ready to do another read aloud. Today we are going to read Home Sweet Tree with the Berenstein Bears. I love the Berenstein Bears when I was a little girl. This was actually one of my books when I was little. So today is going to be focused around language. So if your student has language goals, this is the perfect video for them. If they have articulation goals, which is speech sounds, I also have another video that you can check out, which this will be great either way. I have a new tool we're going to use in speech therapy. Some of you may have seen this if you are here at school. He is called our expanding expression tool worm and each knob represents something different. So today we're going to be talking about um, the different knobs and how to describe items that we might see throughout our book. So without further ado, the home sweet tree. Hello friends, this way please. Just ahead, just past these trees, is our home sweet tree. Home sweet, home sweet, home sweet tree. It'd be pretty cool to live in a tree, wouldn't it? Our tree stands tall, fine, fat, and round. Its roots dig deep into the ground. So this page, they described all about their tree that they live in. So when we look at our worm, we see an, a green friend at the top and green means group. We could say a tree is in the group of nature, that it is something that is living, a type of plant, if you will. Blue is do. I want you to think about what does this tree house do for them? It is their home. What does it look like is our white with the eyeball on it. What does it look like? I would say it's brown. They said that it stands tall. It is fine, fat, and round. Those are all good descriptions of what it looks like. Next, the wood circle is what is it made of? What are, um, what is it made of? We might um, talk about a toy or a car, what it's made of. And pink kind of goes hand in hand. Pink is its parts. So for a tree, we'd probably go with pink. So what are the parts of a tree? They said in the book that it has roots that dig deep into the ground. So it has roots, it has a trunk, and it has leaves all over the branches, which are beautiful. So that's pink parts. Our white is where, where do we see this? Do we see this indoors or outdoors? If you said outdoors, you are correct. And our last one is our orange question mark, and that makes up our worm. Our orange question mark is what else do I know? What else do I know about trees? You could maybe say that you know that they drink a lot of water and that they always are in the ground outside. Those are some things you might know. If you have a fun fact about a tree, that would be a good time to say it. All right, here we go. And we won't do all of the parts of the worm throughout the story. Look how many of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We might jump around. So I might just ask you to tell me white, what does it look like? Or green, what group is it in? There's all different ways we can use our worm. Come on in, up we go. There's a lot to sh for us to show. Look, look, over there, you know him. It's Papa Bear snoozing in his easy chair. Papa always takes a snooze while looking at the TV news. Look, look, look in there. You know her, it's Mama Bear. Our mom's a super cookie maker, a chocolate chip cookie 
baker. Ooh, so let's look at these cookies. What kind of cookies are they? They're chocolate chip cookies. So what green group do our cookies belong in? Are they a fruit? Are they a vegetable? Or are they a dessert? If you said dessert, you are correct. We could say white, what does it look like? They look round and they have lots of dots on them. That's the chocolate. And that also leads into our brown. What is it made of? Ooh, we know that it has sugar in it. We know that it has chocolate chips in it because it's a cookie, it probably has butter. Any of the ingredients would be the brown. What is it made of? Yum, yum. Let's have some. Join us, friends. Come and we will all eat cookies in our home sweet tree. Come, come, come with me. There's more to see in our home sweet tree. Come and look, if you dare, the cellar of our homes down there. Ooh, the cellar is a fun one. A cellar is another word for basement. So if we ask why, where is the cellar? What could we say? On top of the house or under the house? I would probably say under. And since it's a tree, you can see all of the roots that they, that the illustrator drew to remind you that it's a tree house. The light we shine will show the way and chase the spooky dark away. This is the place where we store what we don't need anymore. Toys and things that we've outgrown, cradle, crib, Baby's bib, bottles, blocks, toy telephone. Why keep these things that we store, things we don't need anymore? Well, mama says you don't know when you might need these things again. But there's so much more, much more to see. Come on, friends. Follow me all the way to the top of our home sweet, home sweet, home sweet tree. Okay, get ready. We're going to describe something with our worm here in a minute. To the special room I share with my brother, Brother Bear. My things are here and his things are over there. Let's look at her side. I see some skates. If I asked you blue, what do the skates do? What's something you could tell me? You could probably say that the skates are used for us to roll down the road. We put the skates on our feet and they help us go places really fast. So that might be blue what they do. We could also say, what are the pink parts of the skate? I see shoelaces, wheels, and the actual shoe. Those are three parts already of those skates. My closet's neat, I must confess. My brother's closet is a mess. Oh, wow. I see an umbrella coming out of the brother bear's closet. If I asked you, question mark, where, what else do I know? What else do you know about an umbrella? I know that we use an umbrella to keep us dry when it's raining outside and we do need to carry it around. Perfect for a rainy day. You've seen our home inside and out. Home is what we're all about. Goodbye, friends. Please come again. But will you also 
Tell us when, when we can see your home sweet tree. Home sweet, home sweet, home sweet tree. What a good story. So I hope you all loved getting to meet and talk about our new worm friend. You'll see him in the speech room sometimes hanging out with me. He is very cool. All right, I hope you all have a great day.